Put the lamb in the coconut and shake it all up. Can you hear it? There's water, coconut milk in these coconuts. And in a little while, we're gonna sing our coconut song where we can be clapping coconuts. But oh my gosh, what I want you to do today is get a tray or a nice soft carpet and put out some coconuts for your children. Toddlers can explore it. What if they put it in their mouth? Mm, it'll be a little bit scratchy. If they break off a piece, then just take it out and put it on the side. Um, if you need to scrub them well, feel free. But you can put out a tray with the coconuts. You can also give them some sunglasses because what's more fun than changing how the world looks from behind something different. And But then after they explore these, and, and you can play ball rolling with them because ball rolling and turn taking is gonna help language development. It's the, it's the pragmatics of language. So rolling a ball back and forth helps language. It's the beauty of early childhood. But, okay, well, let me finish coconuts and then we'll introduce some other rolling ball things. I brought my tunnel because when you put it through, you get to predict where it's going, how hard to roll it, how fast to go. If you if you have a tunnel that you can lift up, then it becomes, oops, it just cracked really hard. And don't, I'm not gonna do it today, but you need some giant hammers outside so that after you're done playing with these for many, many days, then you can start um, cracking them open and see what's inside and making a smoothie from it. But you can also do one to one put what if you have a bucket for each coconut and then i have one left over oh what do i want to do about that do i want to double them up do i need to go find another bucket everything is about spatial spatial relationships comparisons association and math but now after you've finished with your coconut exploration bring out your balls and then start to figure out how do these balls act the same and different from coconuts? And then you know, and, and then you get to do fill and spill because every time you put something in and dump it out, you're doing that great process of reversibility, which you need for all future math experiences at school age. But then my other favorite balls are the ones that I found from the NAEYC conference, which is the, the, the shiny balls that are different weights, different sounds, um, but I can mix all of those together. Give your children small parts, new, new objects that they haven't played with before. Give them the opportunity to explore, to discover, to compare, and do whatever they want with them. Bring them inside, bring them outside, whatever you like. Have a great day.